Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of the evolution of music playing machines throughout history. I am Bethany Jacobson and for today's era we will be talking about the era of CDs and this era occurred mostly in the 1980s. It's an era that I would say most people either remember or know of just because CDs are still used in our society today. Um, it includes the boombox, the CD player, and the discman. The cool thing about CDs is that even though we don't use them as much as we used to during this era, they're still a very prevalent technology that we use. Um, most Xboxes and even like the old Wii still uses CDs for their games. Um, you can walk into any Walmart or Target and you can probably find a CD with music on it or someone's album on it. So it's not a super common technology, but it is definitely still used and is very helpful in our society. So first we're going to talk about the boombox, which was invented in 1966 by Philips. Um, the boombox is a portable radio that usually comes with a cassette player, amplifier, AM, FM radio, and speakers. It is much larger than a Walkman or a transistor radio. It's usually carried by the handle, so it's still portable, but not like something you can keep in your pocket. Some early boomboxes included an 8-track player, and then Sony introduced the first boombox to play CDs in 1986, and Sony created them to be smaller and cheaper in hopes of selling better, which they did. And boomboxes still exist today and are even more adaptable. They can come with MP3, Bluetooth, and even USB flash drives. And the cool thing about this boombox era is that it's not just an era in technology, it's kind of an era in culture. The boombox was kind of like a symbol for this era of hip-hop when it was on the rise and it became very popular. It defined that genre. It was something that people used often to express their music and even like in cartoons in the 90s I remember watching like all the cartoons a lot of times the characters would carry on boomboxes it was just part of your everyday living and so the boombox was not only important technologically but it was important culturally. Now we're going to talk about the CD and the CD player which was invented in 1980 by James Russell um, Sony and Philips worked together to develop the compact disc, and the first commercially available CD player was released by Sony in 1982 in Japan. Um, the CD player eventually made its way to the U.S. in 1983, with its price being as high as $1,000, so clearly this was a very wanted and sought-after technology. CD sales passed vinyl sales in 1988 and passed cassette sales in 1991. Kind of like I've been talking about in this series, how old technologies would peak in their sales and then a new technology would be released and that new technology would pass its sales and become the most popular thing over the old things that were already popular and steadily increasing in sales, but this new thing is just so much more valuable and easier to work with, just like how technology, as it advances more, it becomes easier and easier and better quality. So, that happened a lot with the CD, and then you'll see next the MP3, and then eventually um, iPhones and things like that. The CDR, which means Compact Disc Recordable, allowed consumers to rip discs and record the low sound quality music onto other CDRs to share. So that was just another new technology that came from CDs. What you'll notice about the CD player is that it's very similar to the boombox, kind of in the shape, but it's a little bit smaller and it doesn't have as many of the extra sound additives that the boombox has. It doesn't have these big speakers and it doesn't have an amplifier like the boombox does. It just has the place where you can put the CD, a little bit smaller of speakers, and then a play, pause, forward, fast forward rewind button. And finally we have the Discman which was invented in 1984 by Sony. Sony created the Discman to adapt to the rise of CDs and it was very similar to the Walkman because it was portable and it allowed you to listen to music through headphones and it also used batteries which was basically how the Walkman worked. Um, the market for single purpose music players is not popular anymore but the invention of these portable music players was ahead of its time. This is very true because when you think about 
how people listen to their music now. It's all in one device, which is usually their phone, and that's basically what people were doing before with the transistor radio and the Walkman and now the Discman. They're just making it portable so that people can bring their music with them. They just unfortunately didn't have the technology to put every song that they wanted onto one device. They had to kind of pick and choose between their CDs or their tapes or just listen to the radio. But this technology was very much ahead of its time and was kind of hinting at what was to happen in the future. Alright, that is going to be it for the era of CDs. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video where we talk about MP3 technology.